Hey, welcome back to BizGrid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you two simple things that you could do with your Google Meet in order for your students to see you and for you to see them a lot better. So I'd like to start this uh, tutorial by saying that if you do go to um, support.google.com, you can see that there are um, upcoming G Suite releases. And for the G Suite releases in particular, we're talking about Google Meet here. Uh, these, I mean, these are quite exciting, okay? It's gonna put it on par to like what we have currently like in Zoom and other web conferencing uh, applications. So I think this one here at the top is already happening right now, yeah? Breakout Rooms is coming, it's in development. Uh, digital Whiteboard, okay, using an integration for uh, the Google Jamboard, that's coming. Hand raising, Q&A, attendance tracking is coming. Remember, there are a lot of uh, Chrome extensions that you can install for these, uh, and this one's exciting noise cancelling for mobile okay so all of these uh, updates are coming i think there's a massive update uh, scheduled for october so let's hope that does, that does happen now these chrome extensions are third party the one that we're looking at today is going to be by simone ramulo okay this is a google meet grid view this is the fix actually this extension came about because chris gamble's original grid view for google meet stopped working in july okay so go ahead and install this uh, google meet grid view uh, this is the fixed version okay and kudos to simone Marula for putting this together. Um, once you've installed this, uh, then go ahead as usual, go to your Google Meet and start a meeting, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start a meeting. Just for convenience sake, I'm gonna call this meeting one, two, three, and let me just call it one, and enter. That's a nickname that I've set because I'm gonna join in with another meeting here. Now, let's go ahead and start this. I'm gonna put that on mute and start this meeting. Okay, so that's the meeting link. Now you can see here the grid view. Uh, in fact, if you go to this um, small icon here, these are all your extensions. So you can check all your extensions here. And the Google grid view fix, make sure you pin that, okay? So it's here, it's, it's live. This should come up in your toolbar for your Google Meet. And what I would like you to do, or what you should do here, is include yourself in the grid, because it allows you to get the right framing uh, for yourself. Because if you're moving about during your meeting, at least you can see yourself. And then and enable grid view by default. If you do this, enable grid view by default, you don't need to keep going in and enabling it, turning it on each time you have a meeting. So here we go anyway, we're gonna, these two we're gonna keep on. Okay, uh, enable grid view for default and then include yourself in the grid. You can highlight the speaker, only show participants with video. You can have that if you want. I wouldn't suggest it because then it's not gonna show up any of the participants who don't have the video on. And then it says enable screen recording mode. This basically disables the names and locks videos in place. Uh, I don't like to use that because when I'm presenting, it just creates a small screen for the presenter. Uh, so I like to have a bigger screen for the presenter, so I, I'm not going to enable that. Go ahead and view the advanced settings if you would like, but I would say the main two are include yourself in the grid so you can see your framing. Uh, we'll talk a, a bit about that later on, and then enable grid view by default. So let's go ahead and leave that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in several times to this meeting uh, so you can see the effects of this, okay? So just uh, you carry on watching that and I'm going to log in several times. So, Okay, so my second computer is struggling to uh, log in several times. I was hoping to get over 16, but um, what the grid view does, it allows you to you know, have all your participants there as well as present your screen, okay? Uh, the default Google Me grid view has up to 16 participants, uh, whereas the grid view can have you know, 40, 50 different participants. You can see uh, everyone there. Um, so that's, it's useful to have that. Now that's the first tip, okay? That's the first tip where you can see all your participants, all your students. If you've got more than 16, you've got a class of 30, you can see all your students there. That's brilliant, okay? And this works perfectly fine. Now, the second thing that I want you to talk about, the second tip, okay? Check this out. This is 360p, so this video here that you're watching here, this is 360p. Look at this, the top of my head is chopped off, and my shoulders, are, you can't see both my shoulders. Let me change this resolution, and you'll see the difference. And I'm gonna change it from 360p to high definition. And what you can do, you can see now the top of my head, you can see my shoulders now. There's a difference in the frame, okay? There's a difference in the frame. How do you do that? Again, you click on the three dots, and you go to settings, and you go to video, 
and you change this resolution from 360 to high definition. The reason you want to do that is so that you're not up in the grill, you're not up in someone's face, because remember on your computer, you're just an arm length away. It helps uh, making the frame wider so that you can get more in, so you're not right in their face. So that's the two tips that I want you to share with you. As always, thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, consider sharing it with someone else and turn on notifications. If you want more EdTech videos, I've been pumping out a few EdTech videos on Google Meets and the G Suite. So hit the uh, bell notification for that. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.